Hey there everyone, it's me Ryan here, or MNR Productions, and welcome to episode number 43 of Ask MNR Productions. We are getting up there, this is pretty crazy, but welcome to another episode. If you guys do enjoy, hit the like button, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, and if you guys have a question that you want answered on next week's episode, leave in the comment section down below. I'm also accepting challenges, and later in this video I'm going to be doing a challenge that one of you guys gave me, so stay tuned for that. Anyway, our first question comes from Cookboy123, and he says, where could I find you at Brick Fair, Virginia? What day are you going on? So for those of you that don't know I am going to Brick Fair Virginia this year I'll have the information linked down below in the description it'll be the top link brickfair.com and I will be there on four different days I'll be there on two private days Thursday and Friday and then I'll be there on two public days Saturday and Sunday I will either be at the Rebel Lug booth area or I will be over in the pop culture section with like Michael and Jeff and the the custom minifigure maker people I don't know exactly where I'm going to be it's not like Brooklyn Chicago but I'll be around at Brick Fair Virginia you guys can definitely look for me I'll probably have a little bit more information in next week's episode if you're interested in that but i met like 50 people at brickwood chicago and i hope to meet just as many at brick for virginia I'm really excited to get there tan brick says can you swoosh some of your sets around like you're playing with them Alright, that's enough swooshing for one day. Lupin says, favorite obscure Star Wars character? So this is a different question, I like this one. Maybe Kit Fisto would be my answer here. There are so many different aliens and stuff in Star Wars that are like running through my head right now. I think Kit Fisto is like a really cool Jedi, like an obscure Jedi, I guess. So that would be my answer. Global Burke says, will you get the new Lego Ideas Voltron set? So I might have said this before. I might have said it on the podcast or I might have just said it in private with some friends, but like I have no connection to Voltron. I had no idea what Voltron was before the Lego Ideas set was announced. So probably not going to get the Voltron Lego Ideas set. I just don't even know anything about the show or the movie or whatever it is. And you know, it's just not my thing. So probably not going to get that one. I recognize that it's a really cool Lego model. It's a really nice build. Got some really awesome color to it, but it's just not my thing. Outrage Cal says, do you play Fortnite? And if you don't try it. So I play Fortnite very seldomly, like maybe once every two weeks. However, myself and just too good we're thinking of maybe live streaming us playing it or you know we'll see what happens there but it's just an idea we kind of threw around last time we were talking and maybe we'll get together and play it for you guys on my gaming channel i usually do call of duty on there but maybe just too good and i will play some fortnite even though i really suck at fortnite two bricks a lego studio says how do wookies pay for things Kashik. Jedi Bob wants to know who my favorite jedi is <laughs> it's probably him jedi bob huh that seems like a very loaded question. Mall on a Wall says, do you know anything or what are your opinions about the KSI vs. Logan Paul boxing match happening in August? So I think it's a little bit ridiculous. However, I've heard about it on like the H3 podcast and on another podcast I listen to called PKA and I find it fascinating. I'll definitely watch like the highlights of it or whatever. I think I watched the KSI versus whoever else he boxed back, you know, like a year ago. I watched like the highlights of that and that was kind of interesting. So I'll totally watch like the highlights of this one, but I'm not going to pay $10 or whatever it is to, to actually watch it live but I'm, I'm interested in it if you will electric quinn wants to know if i collect other star wars toys besides lego star wars no please help me i can't stop spinning Jessica says, Dear m and I have a question to ask. Me and my parents and my brother went to Walmart and they had no new Harry Potter sets and Target only had the Whomping Willow set. My mom has a good theory that Walmart is putting all of the 2017 sets on clearance to get rid of them, but why is the Whomping Willow the only one at Target? Is my state not being as main as where you live or is that they're out of stock on Lego shop at home or does Lego not like making sense? All right, so uh, first part of your question, Walmart will not have the new Harry Potter sets to August 1st. Target kind of has an exclusive thing with Lego for the Harry Potter sets for the month of July so that's why Walmart didn't have them Target has had them since about July 1st however they have probably sold out in a lot of places I know my local Target doesn't have many of the Harry Potter sets they just had like the Aragog's layer last time I went so you're totally going to have a little bit of trouble finding them because they've probably sold out. That's why your particular Target only has the Whomping Willow because they probably just got it or something and that's the only one they have. 
I'm sure they had the other ones or most of the other ones. Maybe they didn't have the train because the train has been kind of wonky with where it's been released. But uh, other than that, they probably just sold out. As far as Walmart's having the 2017 sets on clearance, yes, that's what the stores do very commonly. Walmart and Target will put stuff on clearance, some of the older stock like every year around this time on clearance to kind of make room for the new stuff. So if they have stuff on clearance, that's kind of usually what they're doing. And for those of you guys who don't know, Target and Walmart are both having their clearance sales right now, so don't miss them. Tree of War Productions says, what are your thoughts on licensed Lego themes and do you think that they're hurting the Lego company? It just so happens that I particularly like licensed themes and I don't really think that there's any way they could be hurting the company. Um, I, I just think licensed themes are great. I think they bring a lot to the table as far as what we get from Lego, different types of things. So you can definitely have a lot of fun with the different licensed themes and in my opinion they totally totally help out the brand so i think any license is good for lego i think uh we've got some pretty great license themes over the years and i hope it continues i hope they continue to add more to it i think there's nothing wrong with it and i think they're doing a great job with with what they have now and we'll see what they continue to add in the future adoria lego studios says best brick world moment well you already know what the best brick world moment is come on now <laughs> Venom Bricks 2005 says, would you like the return of the SpongeBob theme? Totally. I would love the SpongeBob theme to return. In fact, I think that since we recently saw the Harry Potter theme return, it makes the chances even greater that we could see a theme like SpongeBob return. It's a theme that totally has the possibility to kind of have more sets in it because there's so many different things they could make sets of. And, you know, that's being shown here with Harry Potter that, hey, we can remake some stuff. We can make some new stuff that we haven't made and see where it goes. And I think Lego's doing a great job of that. And if that's successful, I think SpongeBob could be another successful one. So fingers crossed, maybe SpongeBob theme in 2020 or something funny like that. Hopefully. Hey, Dad, which Stormtroopers do you like more? I like the ones in white. Okay. The Brick Whisperer Studios says, hey, Aminar, is your closet door still broken? No, it's not. It's fixed. There you go. Not broken. Yay. Dylan says you should stack as many sets as you can on top of each other until they fall. This is our challenge this week. Let's do it. All right, so we're going to do our stack right here. Hopefully this will work. We'll find out how many we can stack on top of each other. All right, so I brought over four snow speeders. We're going to try and stack them on top of each other, and we'll go from there. We'll see how many we can get to go on. That's three. This one needs its thing put back on top. Man, these are dusty. Oh, it's got to stand on the bottom. Yeah, we definitely don't want to stand on the bottom. Oh, oh, oh. That's four snow speeders on top of each other. Let's see if we can get more on there. Man, these are dusty. Alright, moment of truth. Can we get five snow speeders stacked on top of each other? Yes! That was pretty easy, actually. I don't know how many we can get. I don't even know if I have more. I'll try to stack something else then. Resistance transport pod. Moment of truth as we try to center up its... It's weight on here. I don't know if this one's gonna work. Oh my god, it works. Alright, I don't think I can actually fit anything else on top. I really don't want these to fall over, so that's gonna be that's gonna be my stack of sets here. That's pretty good though, I think for for a start there. That's pretty solid. The the transporter's like really leaning onto the back there. This would be an interesting like video series where I like stack different things on top of each other. I don't know. Maybe we could do this in a future episode again, but this was a little bit of fun and I'd like to do it more but on a on a bigger scale. I wonder how many we could get of just you know, the the harder part is when you get up here, like I couldn't really put anything on top of this because it has the fin, so that's kind of a problem there. But other than that, thank you for the challenge. Let me know if you guys have a challenge for me to do next week. And we're back. Sheev the Cowboy House Plant Cactus says, What happened to Minifig Monthly and how did you create the subscription box? So I'm gonna answer part one. Uh, he says, What happened to Minifig Monthly? Basically I just stopped doing it. However, it's possibly coming back later this year i'm working on a thing with some people i can't talk about too much but it's going to have a lot more than just minifig monthly on it so hopefully i'll have some reveals for you guys soon but i think it would be very exciting it's going to have lots of hopefully cool stuff on it so time will tell but it should be coming back in some capacity later this year not exactly the same as it was i kind of want to revamp it and rethink what it is but it's totally possibly coming back 
Daddy Yang says, what do you think about the NBA offseason? LeBron, Kawhi Leonard, Isaiah Thomas, Boogie, etc. So Boogie Cousins, that was a shocker to the Warriors. Isaiah Thomas, another one way underpaid. He's going to ball out. Kawhi Leonard, I think, is hilarious. That whole saga is just funny with him going to Toronto. LeBron James is out of the East, off to the Lakers. They're not winning anything this year. The sad thing is the Celtics should have beat LeBron this year. I would have loved for them to have beat him next year, I guess, because I think they can and they should have last year. But... Man, I can't wait for the NBA season to start. I've been feeling real lonely in here, so got to get the, the basketball to get going again. And same with football. That's going to be fun, too. So really excited. Thank you for your question of a, a non-LEGO-related sort. You guys can ask non-LEGO questions, by the way, just just so you know, because I know some people ask me if they can ask non-LEGO questions. I'm like, yeah, of course. So that's going to be it for this episode of Ask Them and Impressions. That's been episode number 43. Again, if you guys have a question for next week's episode, leave the comment section down below. If you guys have a challenge that you want me to try and complete on next week's episode, episode let me know as well oh quick note here at the end check out my subreddit reddit.com slash r slash mnr productions i'll have that link down below you guys can submit posts and funny stuff on there i guess but yeah thank you for watching i'll see you on the next one peace